Hi guys, right, so we're at High Voltage Man's today, and today we are crushing coins. So this is High Voltage Man's coin crusher, comprised of these three monster capacitors. These are 25 UF, 20 KV, 5,000 joules each, probably weigh about 60 kilograms each, these caps are absolutely monstrous. So we're charging these caps with this potential transformer, 20 KV into this bridge rectifier, and then down onto the capacitors. We've also got some meter in here so we can see what charge we've got in there. And then we just fire this by having a work coil on that side there, which is the right, and a wire that just dangles across that you'll see in a minute. And we just pull a string on that and it fires. Now, uh, this box, we thought this would be good enough to start with. Obviously, you can see by the holes in it, obviously not. So then we reinforced it with these pieces of check plate. So you can see there. And even this is getting some major dints in it and uh, almost gone through it to be honest. So we had a little bit of a disaster, we thought this would be strong enough as I said. And the two windows broken behind us obviously proves that this is not the case. So we moved on to reinforcing this like I say with check plate. The final version will obviously be a nice steel box, probably patched with sand. But as you can see the damage on here is just incredible. I mean there's holes straight through this. Uh, this is copper wire embedded in it and it's everywhere, it really is. I mean, this is the lid from the uh, box after a few firings. And this is pretty thick, uh, this is pretty thick plywood. So it just shows you the energy involved here, guys. So like I said, that's what we've been doing. It's really interesting. Can't really convey on camera how powerful this is. It's absolutely, absolutely monstrous. It really is. It sounds like an explosion. So let's have a look at the handiwork this thing produces. Like vaporized copper on there. It's coin shaped anymore. It's hard to convey on camera how much energy it goes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's, it's really difficult to get it across, but yeah, you can see by that, can't you? So we're just over here taking a look at some of the chaos that this machine produces. So this is a piece of uh, aluminium tubing. I think it's got a wall diameter of about two millimeters. And this is the result of just two of those capacitors dumping their energy into it. I mean, as you can see, that's quite some deformation. This thing really is incredible, guys. It really is. We've had a really good day here at Watch Man's. Really enjoyed it. And there, uh, take a look at the coins. Right, so we're coming to the end of the day's events of our coin crushing at High Voltage Man's. So, left to right is a one pence piece, and this is the different power levels as we go down, obviously, increasing in power. And then we've got the 2p piece, again, increasing in power. There's a few five pieces. See, the five pence piece is a silver coin, and it doesn't seem to have as much effect on this. As you can see, the copper coins uh, has a much more dramatic effect. And then next, next one in line is the uh, British two pound coin, and again increasing in power as we go down. And then next to that, the humble one pound coin. So that's the original. And there's a couple of those. As you can see, it's quite dramatic. And the actual centre is a different material, and they actually uh, come loose and actually sometimes even drop out. So yeah, it's kind of interesting doing the two pound and one pounds. As you can see, this one's uh, just about to fall out. We have actually had a couple that have fell out. So yeah, 
that's about it guys hope you found this one interesting and uh, there'll be more videos to come shortly thanks for watching guys take care